Hello, my name is Brent Kalthop, president of Urshan College and Urshan Graduate School of Theology. And thank you for joining us today for the Urshan Leadership Minute. This is our weekly vlog here at Urshan where we talk about uh, organizational leadership, leaders, followers, and doing, fulfilling what we feel like God has called us to do and what we've taken place in our vocation or in the church, in the context of the church. We've been talking about team ministry and how in organizations, these are not teams where, like a golf team, people work individually and then just sort of add up the score at the end of the day. But we're a team like a football team that if every individual is not fulfilling their purpose on the team, the team can't be successful. This requires everybody to fulfill their role. And this is really the image that the Apostle Paul casts in the scripture about the body. That while there might be individual members, there's one body. And the one body needs to be in unity and alignment to be able to work together. So we've been talking about teamwork and some of the parts of team communication and, and a shared vision and a collective responsibility. Today, I want to talk about one of the foundations uh, uh, for any team and any team member to be successful is that we have to build a foundation of trust. When we come onto a team and we're working with one another, it is critical that we're able to trust one another. If we can't trust one another, we won't share our ideas. We'll be afraid that if we sort of are transparent, authentic with uh, our communication and we try to advocate for something or even if we are using inquiry to discover where a, another person is at, uh, we're afraid that it might be rejected, um, that someone will doubt our spirit and our motives and um, you know, think it's about our ego or our pride or that they will judge us and think we're foolish or stupid. How many times have we been maybe in a classroom, if you can think back to school, and a teacher asked a question and you really thought you had the answer, but instead of raising your hand, you held back because you thought, man, if I get this wrong, somebody's gonna laugh at me. Uh, somebody's going to, to you know, call me a name or think down of me, think I'm foolish or ignorant. And yet someone else who's a little bit bolder, they'd throw their hand up and they gave the answer. You knew the answer, you were right all the time. And the teacher gives them sort of a well done, you know, good job. And you're thinking, man, that should have been me if I would have just raised my hand. What this is a, a sign of is that we, we, we don't have that trust necessary to really be open and honest and authentic when it came to that context. We were afraid of the reaction and the response of others. When we talk about teams and working together as teams, it's, it's really critical that this is not the culture that we create. We want people to feel free to share their ideas, to be able to weigh in. We want people to say, you know what, I, I disagree. I, I, I think that, that that won't work or, or I think that it needs to be better or maybe if we're evaluating something that took place to be able to say, you know what, I think we really missed it here without it becoming dysfunctional or unhealthy or people feeling attacked. And so this has everything to do with trust in the room. Trust that first of all, people aren't going to attack. It's not going to be unhealthy and that, that we all have a heart for what's best for the organization. The scripture says it like this, that we need to seek first the kingdom of God. It's letting us know what the priority is. The priority is the kingdom. In the organizations that we serve in, the priority is the mission of the organization, what it's called to do. And so we have to realize and, and emphasize that our role in, in it is we have to be sure everyone can be honest and authentic and open, that we take responsibility, that we build trust. We build trust by acknowledging when we get it wrong. I make a lot of mistakes. And sometimes I think things were a great idea and sometimes I think it was uh, the best thing to do and I was wrong. And if I act like it never happened, if I try to gloss over and somehow reframe it, you know what, I'm gonna lose credibility with my team because everybody knows it didn't work. And so being authentic, being able to stand up in front of our teams and say, you know what, I blew it, I messed up. You know what happens is most of the time, we actually earn trust and respect because they know we messed up. They just wanna make sure that we know we messed up. And so I wanna encourage us when it comes to our teams to make sure that we're building a community, a team of trust. 
When you begin to look at the success literature over 50 years, Stephen Covey found this, and he de details this in Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. He says that when you look at the first 150 years of our nation's history, uh, the foundation was, of success was the character ethic. And here were the qualities that people talked about. They talked about integrity, humility, fidelity, temperance, courage, justice, patience, industry, simplicity, modesty, the golden rule, doing unto others as you would have them to do unto you. These are the things that, that we strove for, that we bought into. But he says there was a shift away from the character ethic to the personality ethic. All of a sudden it became about charisma, it became about communication skills or power strategies, it became about impression management and image management. And we were more focused on the image we were portraying rather than the character that was inside of us. The problem is, is we can rise based on skills and gifts and competencies, but if we don't have the characters to sustain it, the crash is mighty. Well, it's the same way with our organizations. It's so critical that when we come together as teams that our first priority is building a healthy team. And that requires trust. And trust demands that we are people of character, that people are able to trust in. I want to encourage you in our day and time of, of media and, and social media and so many things that are out there, images that are out there, is all of these things can be important and they have a, a useful tool in our organizations, but there will never be anything that will replace our character. And if we are people of character and integrity, that means the people in our organization will be able to trust us and buy into us, and that is the foundation for healthy teams. And so as we are launching into this year of 2022, let's all, as leaders, as followers, let's make a commitment to be people of high character in our lives. And when we do so, watch the trust on our teams build. And when there are, there's trust among teams, teams can work together without fear and know that we all have the kingdom at heart. We're all seeking first the kingdom. We're seeking first to fulfill the mission of our organization. And we will work together without fear. Thank you for joining us today for our Urshan Leadership Minute. We're thankful that you join us these times. We don't take it for granted. We hope that you'll tell someone else about this opportunity, this resource, and join us as we build a leadership culture in the apostolic movement. God bless you. We'll see you next time.